Um, Bobby, what what's going on? Have you seen this? Seen what? One thousand three hundred and fifteen pounds. For a to get buried in. For a coffin. For a coffin. But who's died? Who said anyone's died? You're looking at coffins. Right. No one's died then. Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? <laughs> so, what? Cardboard coffin? Cardboard? £520! Made of cardboard? Surely the worms will eat straight through that. Oh, yeah. So, what, can you please explain? Anyway, oh my I... god, there's a football one! <laughs> Listen, I've had a eureka moment. Okay. So, you know how I'm messy? Uh, well, yes. And you know how I sleep a lot? Yes. And you know how sometimes I don't take a shower for a week. Oh, hell yes. Um, well, I've decided that we need to kill her off. We're going to kill that Liana. And we're going to start a brand new life where Liana takes things more seriously. And Liana um, is happy and gets up early in the morning and stuff. I just don't believe that's going to happen. It's you run about here. We need to go shop. Okay. Right, so we have arrived. Do you want to know what's first on my lift? On my lift? On, my on lift? your lift! Because we're in a lift. First on your lift. An outfit. Black outfit. Okay, I've got one. I'm wearing Babby. Link in description. So where do you want to go for said black outfit? Um, I was thinking Urban Outfitters. Oh, sure, love. You're just doing this as an excuse to get a new Urban Outfitters outfit. I'm taking you to next. No. And there it is. Or is that more of a navy? Look at the jumpers. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, Jackie. No? Okay. And there we have it. The perfect outfit. Take it or leave it, babe. I think I might leave it to me. You can't leave it. You're taking it. It's absolutely oh, you phenomenal. You can't have an outfit, no? No, I'm sorry. The biggest joke is you just let me spend £36 on that when I could have got an outfit from Urban Outfit. It would have been an Urban Outfit. for one item. You well, at least it would have gone, it wouldn't have gone to waste. Like, stop it. Right, what now then? Right, next on my list, we've got funeral invites. Funeral invites? Yeah, you know, like birthday invites, but for a funeral. When do you ever get a card for a funeral invite? It's not a party. You just know to go, don't you? It's like word of mouth through family. Have you got an invite? I don't know how we've managed this, but Liana's dragged me to Asda at 11.30 at Listen, night. Listen, we've got a funeral tomorrow morning, and we haven't got the things to have the funeral. How am I supposed to have a funeral without a tombstone? I don't know how you're having a We've funeral for yourself to get anyway. Not enough time. Okay. So I'm just wondering your thought process behind this and how the hell are you gonna. Make you want to make a tombstone? How? We're in, As we're in Asda, babe. What can we get in Asda to make a tombstone? Card and, and paint. Perfect, babe. I think that's how everyone makes the tombstones. Could always ask my great nan for tips because she's dead. I just don't see how any of this has got to do anything with the funeral. Right. Um. I, I didn't quite realise this is what you had in mind. Well, you couldn't buy them, so I had to make them. Happy death day. Well, isn't that very... Oh, God! What is this? Are we happy that you're dead or something? Yeah, because it's a new Liana's coming. She's being resurrected. I just don't believe it to be true. I mean, yeah. I believe it when I see it, I guess. Well, it's an excuse to have cake. It's very true. Uh, you, see, you seem to have missed the... I mean... It still says birthday. Oh, okay, fixed. We haven't sent out the invites. Uh, How's uh, anyone gonna know I'm having a funeral in two hours if I haven't sent out the invites? Oh god, oh. Where are they? So, I, I mean, I honestly think people are gonna be very confused as to why they're getting a funeral invitation from you. I just, I think we're gonna upset a few people if we don't explain. No, I think we should just post it. You've actually brought me to Harry's house to post an invite to your funeral. Yep, otherwise no one's gonna turn up. Babe, no one's, no one's gonna turn up anyway. No, the invite is via FaceTime, so they've got no excuse. Okay. I just can't quite believe this is what we're doing on a Tuesday afternoon. Yep. Who hasn't got a letterbox? Harry hasn't, there's no let, oh yeah. Oh, right. Okay. That'll do. Location number two. So you're inviting my parents as well? Well, I haven't got any other friends, so who do you expect to come? That is true. So we've had to move my tombstone because the men next door who were doing the fence were literally just watching us over the fence, like no shame, just watching us. 
It's going to be a bit weird recording this in front of an audience. I mean, it's slightly strange that they're just looking at us in our back garden, but that's what you get for living in a house with very low fences. Why haven't I got a service book? Because the budget wasn't that high, okay? The family of Liana Jade wishes to express the sincere thanks for the flowers, as you can see, and, 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 the, and other expressions of love during our time of bereavement. Miss Liana Jade, aged 22, died at her gaff on Thursday. The cause was death in order to be reborn. Born January 9th, 1999 in Wales, before settling in Lister, she worked at her gaff as a YouTuber until death. Liana was a member of the Mess Society and long-time volunteer at Lazy Town. Survivors include long-time companion Connor and beloved cat Podge, also from Gaff in Leicester. I don't know if I've explained properly, but we're putting the old Liana to rest. We're getting rid of her messiness, we're getting rid of her heavy-footedness, we're getting rid of her laziness, we're getting rid of her messiness again, we're getting rid of her uncoordinated skills and odd socks and we're gonna resurrect I don't believe any of this for the record we're gonna resurrect a new healthy happy perfect Liana <laughs> now a passage from Liana's dear fr <clears throat> friend Harrison Smithington the third hey guys it's me Harold Smithington the third here I just wanted to make a quick speech sadly Liana has passed away I've not known her very long but she's a very good friend of mine Got a few things to say. Number one, she stinks of fish, and like it's a very bad smell. I'm not gonna lie, it stinks of fish very bad. Uh, and the little, like a memory that I thought of that I, could, you know, I wanted to mention. She, we went bowling, and she is so bad at that, like unbelievably bad. It's bad. Like got to got to ball every time. We told her to put the barriers up. She didn't listen, and she, she just kept putting it in the gutter. Every time she got like every now and then she'd get one pin down, give her a good clap, forceful forceful clap to make it feel better. But she knew she was bad. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah, bye guys. <laughs> bye. <laughs> the ending. This is a very sad, but yet also strangely happy time for us. The old Liana will be dreadfully missed. No more orange fake tan bum stains on our white toilet. No more odd smells from no shower Liana. No more I'm too tired to do anything Liana. No more I can't be bothered to eat Liana. No more, I will pick that up or do that later, Liana. This truly is a very sad and yet momentous day for us all. Liana the Sloth will be missed. However, we are overjoyed to welcome, remade, reborn, perfect Liana into our lives. Long live Liana the Reborn. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Amen. 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 <laughs> Hey man, I couldn't have said it better myself. And now I would like to read you a poem that came straight from my bum crevice. Oh. Gone too soon, but never forgotten. Hopefully her farts died too. Baby! Because they were rotten. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's sad to see her go, but it's the only way we'll see her grow. I guess now we'll turn a new leaf. Wait, what's that coming from the grave? Oh, it's a queef. She will be reborn, so all is good. Hopefully this version of Idiya Liana looks less like a spud. Okay, <laughs> you done. You're very beautiful. Yeah. Podge will miss you, or maybe he won't. I clean his litter, I bath him, I feed him, I brush him, I detat his fur, I cut his claws. You don't. But after all said and done, it's a very sad day. Does this mean I can play Warzone with the boys tonight? Because technically you're dead, which means you can't say no. I think to... <laughs> End this ceremony. There's only one thing we can do. This is a good play. It's sick, please. <laughs>